I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Hey guys, welcome to our new Fat to Fit Body Transformation in 12 Weeks. Now last time we covered the third and the fourth week, I hadn't lost around three and a half kilos, which is a total of eight kilos since we started this whole transformation. Wow, man. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. I mean, <laughs> eight, 10 eight. kilograms is a lot to carry around, but um, yeah, I'm ready to go on, you know? Mm. Really make some extra tweaks, really cut down, really get focused, really get some extra fat burn. There's about eight weeks left, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm ready for it. So, all right, what's next? So, um, the changes we're gonna do for the next two weeks, the diet plan is basically gonna stay the same just so we get ahead and really used to this whole new lifestyle change. We're gonna add it for you again in the video description so you can go and check it out. But. The workout routine, we're gonna step it up a notch and this is what we're gonna do. First, you will start with a hit cardio workout of 25 minutes on the treadmill, then the next day on the bike, and the next day on the rowing machine. But now, we're gonna add the jump rope. So you're gonna jump rope for five minutes after every cardio workout. Then after the hit cardio workout, you'll move to the weight training and it's exactly the same as the last two weeks but now we're going to add hit exercises in between every weight training exercise. So in between every set of your first exercise, you'll do 10 seconds of high knees. Then in between the next exercise, you'll do five burpees. And then you just repeat these two hit cardio exercises throughout the workout and in between the sets. Now remember, we have added Harnus' workout routine, the diet plan, the supplements he's taking. We've added everything for you guys in the video description as a guide that you can follow him with this whole transformation series. Now, let's start this next two weeks. Harnu, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'm really pumped. I'm gonna nail it. And um, yeah, but uh, let's fast forward and see how I did. kilos wow and that brings us to almost 11 kilos for the last six weeks we're right in the middle of the body transformation yeah, cheers cheers, on that. yeah. so yeah. how do you feel about that and the, the last two weeks yeah 10 kilos is a lot uh, I mean that's a lot to carry around that's 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 that a lot is of a lot and we can also see you're starting to add some muscles as well which is good yeah yeah actually uh, I was a bit negative you know about the 2.8 yeah uh, would have liked to do more, but uh, we did the measurements, body fat and so on, and um, yeah, you know, it, it, it adds up. So mm. actually lost quite a bit of fat, but of course we gained that muscle uh, as well. Mm. So, so it evens up, so I feel a bit better about yeah. that. Yeah. If, you, if you guys are sometimes negative about not losing enough uh, weight, just remember you're gaining muscle as well throughout all the workouts that you're doing. So, mm. uh, but how do you feel about the diet as well? Yeah. And the workouts? Yeah, you know, well actually on the, on the muscle gain, you know, for me it was a very big motivator, you know. At the beginning I was, ah, oh, do I need to do this? I don't need to get up and go exercise. <laughs> But now, you know, you can see that result. So all the little results that you can actually see mm. helps with that motivation. But mm. uh, yeah, so the diet plan was good. I like the little changes that we made here and there. Um, of course, we really um, towed down some of the things as well. So mm. uh, yeah, really got into it. And the exercising gym was good, mm. you know. Um, yeah, really like to get that pump in there and so on. So. No, it was great. Mm. And what did you learn? You also learned a little bit that we don't really need to eat that much, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I actually learned, well, the three big things, you know, um, that we learned was, well, basically, like you said, we don't need to eat that much, just overeating. Uh, the other thing is we actually have a lot of food stored in our bodies. Yeah. And um, the third thing is it's actually very unhealthy fat is actually very unhealthy so the interesting thing is a guy with 10% body fat 
it's got like 50,000 calories already in him, stored mm. in him. That's food. Yeah. And inside for a day is about 2,000. Yeah? So mm. he's actually got that food ready to go. You don't need to eat. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> the other thing is um, you don't need to eat every day. You can mm. go on fast, you know, you eat every second day and so on. Uh, interesting thing there was there was actually a guy that, that fasted for 300. 382 days. That's a long time for fast. Yeah. And but he probably took some supplements and some vitamins and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah so he had, had to drink water, of course, mm. uh, some vitamins and uh, yeah, minerals, like you said. Um, and I think at the beginning he was like 206 kilograms. Wow, okay. Went down to 81 kilograms. Whoa. But that's the thing, you know, he didn't have to eat mm. because he had that food to consume that's already in his body. Yeah. And right. the other thing is, of course, with health, Whew. there's a lot of health issues that comes with that stored bad body fat, especially with high insulin levels and, yeah. and insulin uh, resistance and things like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, you know, the more you eat, the more you have to eat because you get your insulin spikes, you get even more of it and um, go into insulin resistance and yeah, eat, need to eat more. So we're eating ourselves to death, basically. Yeah. So high levels of that, people get start to get blind, lose eyesight, um, even yeah. Next thing then is death and so on. So and there's some research on cancer cells that feeds off sugar and yeah. stuff like that. So no, it's you know fat is a real problem. It's, yeah. it's actually the more I read of it, the more I I see how bad it really is. Actually, yeah. yeah. You see the truth. I'm, I'm uh, really proud of you because I can see that you're doing your own research as well and you're really adapting to this new healthy lifestyle because the thing is, once you know the truth of the food industry and what you're doing to your body, you start to realize, hi, hey, I cannot live like this. And we can clearly see it, not just your body, but also your mind. The way you're thinking and talking about food. Yeah, yeah and that perception you know, of, yeah, really of what food is to us. Mm. Yeah. If you did not subscribe yet, Please do and click the notification bell so you won't miss the next video because next week we're going to raise the bar. See you guys next week.